everybody. It's a pressure HT theater with HT Market and Home Theater TV. I'm with Kevin Reardon from Optima USA, and we're going to be showing the Optima HD 8300 projector, uh, mainly for home theater, but it can be used for other applications. What I wanted to ask Kevin first is, what is the uh, difference between the Optima HD 3300 and the HD 8300? Well, Professor, there are several differences in the, in the units. First of all, the HD 3300 is our entry-level CDF line projector. Okay. Um, retails for $2,000. Our HD 8300 is our step-up model. Retails for $39.95. And um, hosts of quite a few different, different options. First of all, it's a, it goes from a DC2 chipset to a DC3, dark chip 3. Okay. It also has a, a much better video scaler processor in it. It uses a pure motion tube processor, advanced okay. processing. It also has the capability of doing anamorphic 3D processing. Oh, that's very interesting. Yes, uh, so a client can do an anamorphic image um, by just a lens and you can process 2D or 3D anamorphic images. That's outstanding because the 3D on some of these movies is outstanding that we've seen. Even with a 3369 looks awesome. Yes. Now we can do it in Cinemascope. Cinemascope, that is yeah. correct. Just like a movie yeah. theater would do it. Uh, what other uh, features does it have that would be beneficial over the 3300? It has um, a much higher contrast ratio. The contrast ratio on the 3300 is about 5,000 to 1, or on the 8300 with dynamic black, it is uh, closer to 30,000 to 1. Ooh. Okay, it also offers more flexibility. It is a 1.5 times throw ratio lens on the 8300. Okay, in layman's term, what is a 1.5 lens? A 1.5 lens give, gives you 1.5 times the screen width oh, of the flexibility the on where, of the throw distance on where to put the unit. Yeah. So, for instance, give you an example on a 92 inch screen, uh, you could be about as close as 10 feet Right. about as far back as 15. Oh, that is flexible. So many people that have the bigger screen sizes can put almost put the projector in the back of their room if they had 20 feet. That is correct. Okay. So they can even mount it away from the seating area. Uh, it is a big, bigger piece uh, than the 3300. Uh, so it's most likely going to be ceiling mounted, correct? That is correct. One of the reasons that the yeah. unit is larger, it's also a center lens design. Okay. Okay. If you notice the lens on the on the unit itself is actually in the center and is not off centered, uh, that is typically preferred nowadays. Um, most of your better projectors are center lens projector. Your higher end projectors are center lens models. Um, that particular model also offers horizontal and vertical lens shift. Oh, really? The manual cool. horizontal vertical lens shift, so you can shift the image up to 20% horizontally and up to 25% vertically. Is that done with a remote? It is not. It is okay. done manually on, on the, the top of the projector. What type of inputs do we have for flexibility of uh, components? Yeah, the actual um, 8300 has two HDMI, okay. 1.4 inputs. It has um, VGA for people that want to do older analog or connect their computer to it. It also has composite um, and component. So yeah, RGB. the component and the composite is not being used much anymore. You're going to the HDMI. No, the composite yeah. typically would be yeah. used for integration with an automation right. system for cameras, CCTV cameras, I things see. of that nature typically. So most home theater users will be focused on the HDMI inputs. That is correct. And, uh, and the 3D uh, is right through the HDMI also, correct? It is. Yeah. It is absolutely right through the, right right. Through okay. the HDMI. One of the things that is unique about Optima and their 3D is, first of all, the DLP technology is by far the, the far superior technology for doing 3D transmission, okay? Because it is a purely reflective technology, it can throw two 1080p right. images simultaneously, because that's basically what right. you're dealing with when you're dealing with 3D, you're actually looking at two 1080p images slightly staggered off from each other. And then the glasses like these are the active shutter glass? That's shutter. correct, that's what yeah. gives you the field of depth, okay? Now, one of the things that is unique to Optima at this point is that our RF transmission is our our, uh, our 3D information is transmitted through RF. Okay, oh, okay. it's not a line of sight. It's not infrared. Well, that's great. It's really good because so you don't have you, interference. There's no interference. 
You literally can turn your head away, look away from the screen, talk to somebody, so I look back. Be stuff and all you that, can, and you like can that. lay sideways, you can lay okay. in any orientation. Until you turn your glasses up and down and be fine? And they will okay. still be locked right. on to the image. That is absolutely awesome. correct. Okay. So and you have about 150 foot worth of operational range for the glasses. Really? It's an enormous, uh, enormous amount of range. Oh, I can, I can see almost a thousand feet right now. Sure. Fortunately, there's a wall over there, about eight feet, so it's kind of blocking me. But anyhow, I love wearing the 3D glasses. I used to have a retina issue, and these things actually correct it. And you look almost like you're in 3D yourself right now. But uh, let's get to the demo. Okay. I think we've got pretty much what we need to know about specs and why over the 3300. And we'll I'll let Kevin take it away and do the demo. We're going to show you here, we're going to start with Batman, The Dark Knight. Uh, we're going to show this in 2D, that will be our, our 2D demo, and then we will show you Yogi Bear in 3D. <laughs> We're seeing Yogi Bear in 3D, not 3D yet, but here it comes. It's coming in 3D, right through the glasses. So we can flip these glasses right over the lens, and uh, this should work fine. Now, it's, you may see the glasses come in and go out of it, but you'll get the idea. Basket holds a lot more than that. It holds dreams. Mm. Ooh. What are we looking at? I don't know. Walk me in. You sure to work, Yogi? Well, you know, Boo Boo, I'm smarter than the average man. two screen triggers, A and B. One, uh, you, can, you can use, you're not going to have two screens, but you use one of these to connect to your electric screen. And if you have a screen trigger, say in a Stuart Visionary Electric, the screen will pop down as you turn on the projector. Then you got a, a, a 3D sync, you got your RS-232 jack for uh, home automation, you got your component video, your VGA, and then you got two HDMI inputs. Basically, those are the ones you're going to be using for home theater. And then you've got a power input. And we're going to take a look around the case. Basically, you got ventilation on each side. And you've got your single center lens on the projector, which makes it easier to install versus an offset lens. We'll get a close-up of that. It's a 
full functional remote. You've got all your keys. You got zoom and focus, power zoom and focus. You got lens shift on there. And you've got all your uh, inputs on the bottom. For each input, your 12 volt trigger if it's on or off. And you got basically you can set up the projector through the remote uh, very easily. Power on, power off. The Optima HD 8300 is a huge upgrade over the 3300. Get it at hdmark.com.